The U.S. Senate has passed a bill that bans federal employees from downloading or using TikTok on government devices, a move that comes in the face of growing national security concerns around the social media app. And we know there's, there's been a lot of action here by, by individual states. We know that North Dakota and Iowa joined a growing number of U.S. states in trying to ban, in banning TikTok that's owned by ByteDance. And, and they're doing this from some of these state-owned um, devices, saying that perhaps some of the information that's collected could be passed on to the Chinese government. This does seem to be something that has bipartisan support, though, Akiko. It has, and this is something that we've heard for a few years now. It was back in 2020 that we saw the military ban the use of TikTok on all devices. So we're not we're talking about military, Coast Guard, I mean, all inclusive there. So so it has kind of been moving in that direction. We we should point out, you know, this is past the ha uh, Senate. It still needs to pass the House. It needs to be signed into law. So it's not finalized yet, but it is about these persistent concerns around where exactly the data in TikTok is being stored. Now, we've heard from the company over and over that data of American users are stored not in China, but over in Singapore, you know, outside of the mainland. But the concern continues to be from lawmakers, to your point, on both sides of the aisle, saying that, you know, there could be a potential backdoor here, that how could TikTok which is owned by ByteDance, resist any kind of request coming from the Chinese government for data of American users. And this is really just the latest step. But, you know, you could argue that this has been a constant issue that's been raised, but we are still far from a full-blown ban. And what we've seen is lawmakers trying to chip around at the corners here, this just being the very latest. Indeed. I mean, the fact that they're still taking this action during a lame duck session, it just so that they're at least prioritizing it at the moment, because we know that other than national security concerns, there were concerns about its impact on teens. So from a lot of different aspects, you have a lot of lawmakers sort of jumping on this same bandwagon to really crack down on TikTok. Whether it goes beyond state devices, whether we might start seeing perhaps employers saying, look, if it's a national security concern, maybe some of our employees shouldn't have it on their phones. I don't know if it'll go that far, but certainly if it's a national security risk, that is an open possibility. Yeah, I mean, keep in right, mind have... that there's still a, a CFIUS investigation that's been opened. I mean, this has been going on for more than a year, so plenty of investigations that are happening, but still far from a full-fledged ban here in the U.S.